will contact you and then um, <laughs> you wait and wait because basically they just felt that you are not dreaming on their same level maybe you are too dreaming um, no then it's a it's grand but i've not given up hope and I, I, well, i'm not saying yet I, I i will wait forever no because i've done things I've, i i produced um i produced a show in uh, 2015 I produced a big show, and I think it was very. I wasn't the director; I was just the one producing. I wanted to dare myself, jump in, and see if I can, I can pull the resources together. I can put the team together and share my dream and the you know, marketing and all that. And it was really, really well received. I hope, I hope, I can do that again soon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I. There is a lot. There is a lot. Theater has theater people. How do I put it? Um, there are two things that people really, really uh, say I'm good at uh, as a, even as a film director, and that is directing actors and um, and uh, and storytelling. You know, and you know what? All those two things they come from theater. The, the, I, I, I draw I draw that experience from it's the theater it's theater that has helped me work with actors it's theater that have, have had me understand you know storytelling and weaving maybe because we are lucky or uh, maybe because um, uh, during my time there were not so many Kenyan plays um, happening so we used to get plays from out there and you know when you pick a Shakespeare or a battle breach or an, an and, or Enrique Ibsen, eh? that's a complete, you know, that's, that's work that has been put to test for years and sometimes decades. So the storytelling is so done, so well. If you read the government inspector, you'll be like, why don't they write comedies like this anymore? Well, it's not a comedy, satire, but yeah. You get my point, yeah. And and, and even, even blocking. I love blocking. I love movement, and that that automatically comes back into, you know, whenever I'm on the film set, I'm like, mm, uh, movement. How do I make the actors move in a way that uh, uh, the movement tells the story? Yeah. I have a very very great respect for theater. And um, yeah, so I've been to um, it's called what the um, market theater in. You say to know film very well, you must know the beginning, you must know the source, so that you know film history. Let us now know Lucalia's history, because it's like your parents had uh, looked earlier about their son. Where did you study? They must have taken you to very good schools. <laughs> School, yeah. Um. I'm always almost assured that whenever we talk about school, there will be other questions that come about. And yeah, but let me just answer it and then I'm sure the questions will come. <laughs> I went to school in Morrison Primary School in Bahati and Hashima Road, just no, uh, Bahati Estate, um, Eastlands, Jogo Road, both sides. Um, did very well. My secondary school, um, I went to Moifos Academy. Um, yeah, and again, did very well. And then eventually I joined Nairobi University Chiromo Campus. Yes, and I'm sure that is where the questions start coming. Chiromo Campus, artist, and all that. Yeah, and just so you know, I never did anything. Uh, the only thing artistic that I did in my school life 
was I think when I was in class four or five, where we did a choral verse for uh, around the story of Joseph and his twelve brothers, or was it eleven brothers? <laughs> yeah, um, and his technicolor dream coat. Yeah, um, the only other thing I did that is artistic um, um, in secondary school was singing. Yeah, I sing too. And I sing, I think, relatively. <laughs> so you expect questions to come. The first question, are you a dynasty? Because uh, schools you went to. Secondly, what did you study? <laughs> well, well. No, no, no dynasty. No, 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 no not at all. Mm. Neither my hustler. No. Um, parents not rich but not poor um, yeah uh, could afford us good education they valued that not just me all my siblings um, you remember about Frank Capra the you know the three universal languages you know film music and mathematics yeah that's what I studied I I went to study mathematics mathematics and chemistry I love mathematics I still do mathematics I wouldn't mind teaching I'm reminded of Frank Capra now let us go to Anthony Hopkins whom you quote as saying the art of acting is not to act once you show them more what you show them in fact is bad acting uh, maybe you would quote that better quote Anton Hopkins and tell us about that in relevance to the Kenyan acting scene do we have people who act more than they are supposed to yeah, yeah, yeah. Anton Hopkins is actually one of my favorite actors um, yeah the, the quote is the art of acting is not to act once you show them more what you show them in fact is bad acting okay it's it's basically saying that um, acting must be believable when you take up a role we must imagine we must believe you are that person you know we we, we should we should ideally you know, in, 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 in jurisdictions that are very developed, artistically developed, eh, an actor is so much protected. You know how? By not al being allowed to mingle with everyday, you know, people, uh, you know, all the time. I'm not saying never, but all the time, because um, it can be dangerous. I, we have experiences of where, you know, you, uh, actors like um, Arnold Schwarzenegger of Terminator and Sylvester Stallone of Rumble have been accosted by big bikers and, you know, crazy guys who think eh, what they saw in the film is, a, you know, that guy who can fight everyone. So they, they even, they even you know, dare you for a, to, a, to a fight, you know. And that is because they believed they believed that that guy is 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 um is a fighter you know one of my favorite films of all times john q i remember when watching it and um you know since 2000 i think 2004 2002 or 2004 2006 somewhere there and i remember asking myself how can such a reach guy you know dollar millionaire you know uh, the most bankable actor right now in the world Denzel Washington he acts a poor father and you cry with him you cry yet you know he's a millionaire a rich guy you know why because he is believable and that's what John um, Anthony Hopkins is basically saying that if you act, then you show us more. When you show us more, then we don't believe you. 
then we call that bad acting. On your yes, there's a lot of bad acting in this country. There's a lot of bad acting in this country. You know, you, you, you will struggle to find a program where you watched and you really believed so-and-so was a doctor, so-and-so was a lawyer, so-and-so is really a, a surgeon, so-and-so is really, you will struggle. Yeah, there are other dynamics, of course, in play, but um, I think he, that, that's something that we really, and, and, and it's really something I have wanted to put my energies on, um, I, training actors, because we really need it. We really need good acting. Because good acting is it's what makes a story. You might have the best script. You might have the most beautiful story. But if you have bad acting, which is a lot of acting, and then we won't get Who is your best actor in Kenya? Female and male. And who is your best director? Female and male. That excludes you. I really don't believe in best. <laughs> Even when it comes to me, I don't believe in the best. As in, because again, you see, art is very specific. You might find an actor. I usually believe actors should be judged per performance, not in the entirety. You, can, I can, you don't watch one performance by Gilbert Lucalia and then you decide Gilbert is the best actor in this country. Oh yes, it's possible that um, that, uh, you know, um, um, once you put my, you know, my works together, mm -hmm. then you can uh, want to say, yeah, this guy is very, you see, like, I, I, even Denzel Washington, I have feelings of, um, sometimes, mm, I wasn't convinced, or well, here I was more convinced than there, you know, and all that, you know, um, but his body of works are really good, so that, that's why you, you, you we, we, we like calling it, no, calling him excellent. Uh, someone like Daniel Day Lewis, Anthony Hopkins, it's sort of about the body of works. What um, what we have, we do not have the privilege of a body of works in this country. We because our works are very spaced and scanty. You know, if, if it's films, we rarely have it. I think it's only last year and the previous year that we we had like five over five uh, local Kenyan films produced. You know, anyway, uh, if, if I was put in a corner and with a, a very sharp knife on my throat and I was asked to say, who are the actors that I think are excellent? I would easily, very easily point at someone like Bilal Mora or like he calls him Mora Bilal. I would point at um, someone like Justin Merici. Yeah, for ladies, I would easily point at a lady called Marian Nongo. I would also point at a lady called um, Mkamze Chawamwatela, you know. And um, yeah, uh, uh, for directors, the best female director I, I know of um, is Caroline Odongo. No doubt, nothing, nothing nothing else will t I don't I don't I don't see anyone changing my mind soon about that uh, yeah um, um, best male director I think I would easily easily go with Likarian Wainaina kindly touch on their production so that people can identify them with those productions Bilal Moura used to concentrate so much in the theatres, but he recently has done a few films here and there. Uh, most renowned, most uh, that is out there is Forty Sticks. He was in Forty Sticks. Uh, he also did Uradi and a few others coming up. Maybe I, uh, I can't mention them right now. Um, was it Justin? Justin, uh, Justin has uh, done also a lot of theatre. Um, uh, but his most recent one, I think he's on Crime and Justice. I don't know if it's a very big role, but he's a, he's a criminal lawyer in Crime and Justice. I think he was there in episode one and two. Um, yeah, um, Crime and Justice. It's showing on Showmax um, right now. Showmax original. Um, Marion Nungo is a very rare actor. I, 
I think it, it might you might want to go as far back as you know lies at mind and stuff like that to to know but but it just tells you the impact that she has had and 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 because I'm saying this with a confidence that many people will agree with me um on her choice um yeah mukamze same thing mukamze you will um you you will you have to go back uh, to productions like mali and uh siri uh, to see her um uh, and, and you know yeah uh directors carol dongo is currently directing selena has been doing that for a long time um and she has other works she was also in block d i think she was part of the Lies at Pint, maybe, maybe directing, maybe writing, because I know she also does writing. I can't remember Vizuri Sana. But um, yeah, Lee Karen has uh, also done a lot. I think um, his most recent work was, I think, an episode in Crime and Justice as well. Um, um, is it episode five or four? One of those. <laughs> yeah, but he has also done a few shots here and there um, um was part of the first directors of kina um yeah yeah and i think he's also done anti some of those yeah yeah but the some of those are some of the works say something about mission to rescue mission to rescue is um film um, coming soon i did um sometime last year um in march um we should have released it actually but um you know lockdown and stuff like that uh, covid and all that uh, but um it's coming soon it's a kenyan it's a military story around the al shabab and the kenya defense forces um it's a beautiful i'll just say it's a beautiful story it's a bit um it's a good film we've done daring things we've you know action fight sequences explosions yeah i think it's um it's one of those films that we are films that we hope uh, kenyans will look at and maybe look at us differently i know they want i know they trust us but um maybe this one will just lift us to kind of a good level i hope and pray yeah the film is produced by a company called foxton media um yeah i directed it it was an awesome experience now that you are certain that you are a dynasty right now you are creating a dynasty who are the members of your dynasty Oh, I'm so sorry. How could I forget? Likayon is a director for Supermodo. Yeah, uh, that, 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 I don't know how that escaped my mind. Yeah, but he's a director, the award-winning director for Supermodo. And, and, and I, I, I feel I need to say this. I am being a bit um, fair. I don't know that word. I mean, I'm trying to be a bit fair to us and to each other. Because somebody like John C. Biokumu, I don't feel I can rate him anywhere amongst us. <laughs> because that guy is uh, on another level. Right. And there are many, like, you know, people like Mumbi Kaigua. You know, they are of that generation, even before me, you know, years before me. And they are, they are excellent. But the names I've put um, um, out there as, as names that I, let me say, relate to every day. And, um, you know, you know. So it's very, it's easier to remember them. Because they simply will do, a, you know, <laughs> a, a, one thing in two years. But he will do it excellently. Watch out. Watch out like Crime and Justice, the first episode. You will see. <laughs> What oh God! I what exactly do you mean? The people I would love to work with, or the people I am working with a lot? Please be clear. Tell us about your family, Gilbert. It's family I'm talking about. That is the dynasty you're creating. I family. Well, uh, dynasty family. I still do not know what you're talking about. Um, but um, the little that I will say is that uh, I'm not married. 
Yeah. I'm not married. <laughs> That's all. My family. I am surrounded so much with my work, but I feel that the family right now. Look, I, I have brothers, sisters. I have my parents. Are, I'm lucky. My my parents are all still alive. Uh, but um, my work is my life. Yeah, I have a, a son. Yeah, but um, yeah, at the moment, I feel there are bigger things to achieve and to do that I might need a bit more of a serene atmosphere and I maybe I create that on my own I get that Gilbert now um, much of the people you had mentioned earlier much of the people you had mentioned earlier um, are out of the local uh, films and uh, theater actions within Kenya uh, later on you realize that uh, we have other films that have not been well seen in Kenya take the example of the constant gardener the first grader Leo the movie what is it that we should do as we finish up what is it that we should do to make the good movies uh, be seen by Kenyans they are made in Kenya but some of them are not seen in Kenya. What do you say? Oh, oh, oh my God! That's that's uh, that's a question that uh, cuts me so deep. You have no idea. Oh, uh, because really, <laughs> what more do I want? What more would a performer or an expressionist want? if not to be seen, if not that their work are consumed, and audiences, you know, audiences, hey man, this is a huge, huge, huge topic, bro, um, and I think it is the ultimate, if we do manage to tell, to, to, to hack this, then the people who will come after us will just flourish in the bliss of, you know, like just you know, art produce, you have no struggle, no, you know, you want to do whatever you want to do, because whenever there is a market for you, and I'm not assuming, I'm not assuming for one moment that there is no market, I'm just saying that we have not done so much, you know, it hurts me that um, I know people who were even actors who were in the Constant Gardener, but I've never watched Constant Gardener, you know, I, people like Sidede Onyulo, you know, Great, great actors, the late, you know. But anyway, I'll try to respond to your question, brilliant question, by saying this. There is no art without culture. What we have not worked hard to develop is the culture of people watching our shows. Right. That's a culture we need to inculcate in the young people from very tender age. You see, human beings are creatures of routine, you know. There are things that you and I will keep doing because we did them 15 years ago, 20 years ago, and they were, we felt they are proper, you know. Yes, even if we do adjust them, we will adjust them, but it's almost the same template. It's still the same thing we're doing. So this is what I feel. I feel like producers... Okay, let's start from where it starts. We feel like writers, producers, directors need to concentrate on creating content and thinking of the very local market. You know, cinema machinery, schools, churches, other institutions generally. Yeah? We, uh, how I wish that my next film would be shown in my hometown of Buhungu, you know, and we of Kakamega, and you know, do a screening in Buhungu Stadium. How oh, I wish that from there it would go to Eldoret, then go to Kimilili, then go to Kisumu, 
then go to Voi, then Nyeri, then around. You see, that way, <laughs> the next time I make a film, if they loved this first experience, the possibility that they will buy a second experience will be almost be automatic. And if we had every, if every director, every production would do that, that so, so much that every time, every year, um, there are about 20 Kenyan films that are screened in my hometown of Wakamega. You know? Then, uh, then I think we'd really go somewhere. I'm not saying it's easy, but I think that's where we should go. Maybe start with schools. Maybe just do a film and, you know, showcase it in schools and make it a culture such that every institution, every secondary school or even primary school, they watch two Kenyan shows, two Kenyan films every time or three. I think those boys and girls, once they get out of school, they will, they will, what's the, the, the word is, um, they will co keep going on with that culture. This is something that we can talk about forever. Um, this is something that really needs the contribution of all the stakeholders in the industry. And this is something that can really change the landscape of the... As we wrap the show, Gilbert, what can you tell the Kenyan artists or the Kenyan art scene? The, um, there are many things I'd love to say, uh, but maybe two or three. Uh, number one, I'll just say technology has advanced immensely in so, so, so much of the time. We cannot do the business of film the same way we do the business of a village kiosk. And in this case, the village is Kenya, right? And I'm not saying that we don't make stories for Kenyan audience. But we might want to just throw in a few other things that will make our product be consumed across the border, across the borders, across the region, across the continent, and worldwide. Because really, you know, you see, YouTube is such that I put something today, somebody from Thailand, someone from Peru, Someone from Estonia will access it. It matters that I use an expression that they relate to. It matters that I tell a story that they can believe. And there are very simple ways of doing that. There are things that bind us all as human beings love, hate, betrayal, hope, ambition, no, there are very many, yeah. Let's really get out of our comfort zones. Just check in mafanikio madogo madogo, yeah, and then uh, put in the work. Let's just put in the work, put in the work, let's keep working. Just check it, just check it. Success is not a destination, it's a journey. Yeah. For lastly, for our audiences and um, viewers, especially, um, bear with us. When, yeah, we, as we grow, we might do a few things that uh, you might not appreciate, and especially because you now consume um, uh, products from um, our, you know competitors who have done this for hundreds of years, eh? you know, uh, but just bear with us. Give us the good feedback. Tell us the truth. Actually, just tell us the truth. Tell us I did not believe you. Tell me I did not believe you. Tell me that's a fake. And tell me, yeah. Don't tell me, keep doing, keep doing. This not also, uh, uh, let's not all uh, be about positivity, positivity, you know. Even that negative feedback, just find a way of not making it insulting, but tell me anyway. Because um, we cannot live and correct our mistakes if we do not know them. That's all, really, for now. And, um, yeah, um, w together we can grow this industry such that your kids and my kids, uh, who want to express themselves this way, will uh, thrive and comfortably so. Amen. Amen. 
viewers that was Gilbert Lukalia talking talking about art in Kenya and his history this has been presenter Otieno Isaiah for Sweet Reality Kenya TV thank you so much Gilbert for coming thank you very much um, um I'm really grateful for this opportunity and uh, maybe um, hopefully there will be more to come where we can even talk about my upcoming projects and everything and uh, even sit down and have conversations with fellow artists and you know on, on, on how we how we we want to grow this industry and develop from where we are right now um, so that it's it's not we're not always sitting down to point out the challenges we do have but also we offering solutions because we really have some suggestions to solutions that we want to offer. I really um, thank God for the platform that you've given us, um, given me, and um, I I pray that God blesses you and uh, this platform to grow immensely and keep doing the good work. Inspiration is priceless. Thank you. Thank you so much, Gilbert. Thank you so much, viewers. Uh, uh, more a year to come just subscribe to sweet reality kenya tv for more thank you